Hello, my friends. How are you? So again, I'm still playing with my camera settings, but this time playing not just with taking autofocus off, but playing with the brightness, the exposure, the sharpness, stuff like that. You know, obviously it's going to change from video to video as I record, but I just wanted to play with it a little bit, saturation, just stuff like that. So that way my videos have a nice look to them, even if I'm running in a room so I can't export them at the same quality that I was before. But maybe I can kind of make up from that to some degree. And it looks pretty good. Usually when I zo like when I hit record, it goes into a bigger screen and I'm like, well, that looks pretty bad. But it looks pretty good, actually. So that's good. I don't know if I move over. Yeah might change a little bit anyway thank you for clicking on this video um for those of you who've watched my previous videos yes i've gone with my mini intro so my longer intro uh, my mini intro has just a taste of the longer intro and that's because videos that are not getting copyright claimed for their content are getting copyright claimed for that intro and i'm like oh, if, if i decide to monetize my channel again if it gets that big again um i really don't want to have to deal with like i don't want my intro itself to be the reason i'm not able to monetize the video it's kind of silly but maybe who knows um we're trying to last my previous channel of course i was a few hundred shy of six thousand was really excited subscribers was really excited about that and of course then psh, so slowly trying to get more and more of my older videos popped up, of course, trying to in integrate new videos. Uh, I've fallen behind on anime, unsurprisingly. And then, of course, I haven't even started Superman Lois, which I really want to do. So I've been super lazy. I haven't even worked. I haven't gone to the gym this week. And I still haven't gotten anything recorded that I want to get recorded. It's ridiculous. That's kind of how things go when your life kind of is a little crazy. So, you know, you have to learn to, like, schedule things out. And I need to be better at that. I need to... You know, part of me needs to sit down and kind of schedule things up, but also part of me needs to go, no, do this now, and then you can do a bunch of this later, and just stuff like that. So that's what I was trying to do tonight, get a lot of the chores out of the way, so that way I can get a bunch of stuff recorded, or at least a couple of videos recorded. Anyway, that's all I needed to say. I love this anime. I'm really excited for season two. I also just realized I totally forgot to react to that OVA episode at the end of season one, so I had to go back and record that. But that's not what I'm recording right now. I'm recording the next episode of season two. I think we're still at the summer camp or just finished the summer camp. Um, I was right that the reason that Asuka is not doesn't want to let uh, Nozomi, yeah, back in, who I originally thought was a clarinet, but she's actually a flautist, um, is because it really would help upset Missouri, and that's the reason. Now I do know eventually she does rejoin the band, but we're gonna see how she does it because. You know, will Kumiko tell her the truth? Like, hey, this is why, you know, do you think there's something wrong? Like, this is why, you know, Asuka's saying no. Is she going to tell her that? Because it, it, for a girl who kind of, like, kind of kept to herself a little bit, she also, like, wants to know a lot of things. Not know things to gossip, but, like, see what she can do to help. And which is very cute. The interactions between Yuko and... Natsuki are very funny and very cute. It is funny to see her like poke her buttons, but for someone who doesn't like being around her, Yuko seems to be around her a lot. Like is irritated by her. So they are clearly friends. The dynamic is very funny and very cute. Uh, I do like that. Uh, I know it's a dynamic we're gonna get a little bit more of this season. And um, anything else to really add? No, this is a really fun, solid anime. Bringing back so many memories for me being in camp. Um, a part of me kind of wishes I had a band director like um, Taki Sensei. I just forgot the name, um, but you know we try to make do with what we have and with the people you are. And and the biggest difference is that yes, he was really encouraging him, and people might be more inclined to listen to him because he is so young. But this is also a school that you know he when he gave the students an opportunity to shoot for the moon. They took it, whether out of spite or whether because they wanted to. And, you know, you can't make a student do that. And one student who was like, no, I think I'm going to leave, left. And that was her choice. And uh, the rest decided to stick around. And even the ones who didn't get to be part of, like, the competition performance, even they, it's not like they didn't get to be part of the competition performance. They're like, oh, that's such a jerk thing. And then left. They're sticking around. They know they have room to grow. They're still, they're still striving and working hard and you can't make someone do that if it's not already in, within them to begin with so it shows you got these really cool kids in this band 
And he was able to, through one reason or another, really inspire them. And he has some really cool friends of his. And, of course, we learned about his wife who passed away. And I was like, oh, that's why he's, like, a cute demon. But he's, like, a sad demon. <laughs> he's a sad cute demon. Um, and, uh, yeah. I don't know. There's a lot going on. I love Kumiko. I'm proud of her. She gets to perform during the um, that particular section during the competition. She's doing a good job. That's so great. I love the close-ups of the people of like who mattered to her, who are proud of her. It's very cute. We're getting close-up of Shuichi, which is interesting. Is there anything else to add? No, that's it. We're probably reaching the end of the summer camp arc and we're going back into the school year. So if you're watching on YouTube, there is no sound. Partial image pretty much keeps the copyright monsters at bay for the most part. Um... But it's translucent, again, no sound. But there's a countdown timer if you want to follow along. I do pause at the halfway point, which screws up if you're trying to follow along, but it is what it is. Without further ado, countdown timer, you can't miss it. Let's dive in. <laughs> again, this keeps psyching me out because the episode will start with just footage, no sound, and then the sound kicks in every single time, and I keep thinking that my system is messed up when it does that. The one thing I also liked seeing over the past couple episodes is that Reyna's a little okay with hanging around Azuki and Midori without Kumiko. Like, Really, those two really are Kumiko's friends, not Reina's, but they're becoming Reina's friends via the whole osmosis thing. I don't know if they're going to hang out together by themselves. I think Reina's the only one... Well, can only, only tolerate hanging by herself, like hanging out by herself with Kumiko versus everybody else. But... It's probably a bad idea to drink an energy drink at 8.51 p.m. So this is a typical high school concert band because it has, it's not a um, orchestra because it has saxophones in it. And saxophones, unfortunately, are not part of orchestras. We don't get to be We're part of jazz groups and concert bands, but we don't get to be part of orchestras. Whatever. Is it because we're such a young instrument? I don't know. <laughs> Can you tell I'm a little jaded? <laughs> Oh, they're back at school. Whoa, almost near the end. Not oh, a bad placement. <laughs> He's so serious. So there's a bit of a spacing. Mmm, oh, they're really good. It does kind of influence your scores. It kind of does. No, I can't do anything about it. I focus on their performances. He's right. Ooh, that's like that's a week and a half. That's so little time. Hmm. Yeah, you might want to wait till after the competition. Oh, <laughs> she's so cute. Oh, awakening over. Oh, I'm gonna love this episode, aren't I? Oh, that's the other teacher. Mmm, interesting. She's apologizing for making assumptions about her student. That's very nice. It's very... <laughs> 
just like, oh, oh my ear. Hmm. Well, there's a lot of people talking to her recently. <laughs> a little bit of a coward. Sorry, baby girl. Oh, they're talking. <laughs> Way to be excited. Oh! That's the dad. That's the first- I've heard the dad now. I haven't seen him, but heard him. Hmm. <laughs> Do you typically say it like that so lackluster? <laughs> like, uh... I do love the directing. Oh wow, that sounds really good. Oh, she has the little Yufakun thingy. All right, drink some water and give her lips a break. Hmm. Little buggy. Yeah, that was nice. That it was. She found it. Yeah, you can't run and hide. She's literally cornered her in her own corner. Mm hmm. Oh, right, because she's talking about what happened back then. She gonna blur it out? Because she's a blurter. Oh, Nazuki was telling her about that, probably. Not anymore. Very different. She moves fast. Oh, this is gonna be. Oh, she's running. It's gonna be a train wreck, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, she's gotta talk to her. She could just go around, but now that the upper classroom in there, she might not.
Oh, the contrast of them. Whoa. Let's see, oh, both still okay. Oh, my lights, my lights flickering. Cheaper thing I got from Best Buy. Ooh. I'm gonna pause. And her oblivionness, she finds her friend who she thinks is her friend and it hurt i mean that her leaving hurt her so much that reaction was insane i was worried about the elbow i was like oh no the elbow but it's like safely neatly laying flat on the chair so <laughs> we're good no problems with the elbow um well no problems with the elbow problems with the oboist um well now the truth is all gonna come out so you know should have tried to nip it in the butt but it was too late Oh my gosh, a new girl that, you know, she was kind of whiny with the whole, like, it felt like she was super whiny. Um, and because she knew what happened last year, that's why she was very passionate for her upperclassmen. Um, but we do see that there's a sensibility to her. And she's very protective, for one reason or another, perhaps even more so because of what happened last year, of Missouri. Um, no. Yes, Missouri. Um, and so, it's really, it's really sweet. And, but I also love the framing of like kind of seeing somebody and then someone coming in, but kind of like you're seeing like only a part of their face and the angles of the camera, like the, the directing is so flaming good. I mean, God, like, it's just so, so good. And the part of me is like, oh, oh, it just, it makes, it makes a situation that's a little bit no, if you watch it straight on, it would be a little bit flat and like, oh, it's this high school drama. But it made it way more dynamic and didn't feel jumpy or didn't feel like, oh my gosh, I can't follow this so my eyes are hurting. It was very purposeful, very precise, and it just made it just more that more intense. It was so good. It was so good. And that grip, that grip that Yuko had on her. My gosh, it's a strong little thing. She like had her. She's pulling her. Just, just so much. And then Suka's like... And that was quite a bit of emotion from her. I don't think I remember her cursing before. So this is a very intense situation. And now it's it's literally blow up in her face. And the bluebird has taken off somewhere now. The hurt wing. Mm. It's a huge school. Oh, so she's helping her. Look, see. Running on a hot day. They're burning up. All those clubs. It's a huge school. Jeez. But that's sweat and tears. Science classroom. Ooh, that little 3D tracking there. That's nice. Mm. Straight forward. Her voice has some deepness to it that wasn't there before. It's a good thing she doesn't have any classes with her. What happened last year? Oh, baby girl. Hmm. 
The extrovert adopting the introvert. Yes, it happens. It's very cute. She saw her out. Hmm. Mm. Oh. She felt betrayed, yeah. Wow, this is so much more than I thought it was. Dang. Yeah, she is a little bird. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, but we see that's not true. And she didn't realize she, she was doing this kind of sit. Oh no, okay, so that's what she thinks. That hurts. <laughs> Why is she doing that? Her cheek. Well, that's smooth. <laughs> this is kind of ridiculous. Hmm. Guys, it's so emotional. Ooh, tears on the face. That was good. This is about marching band. <laughs> Why? Oh, into the light. Nice. <laughs> Come because watch just going, I don't know what's happening. Nice. Oh, look at that. Look at the brightness in the eyes and the shininess. Oh, her eyes were so dull before. And look at it. Well, part of it's the shininess of the tears, but other stuff, too. Oh, she's holding her oboe. It was safe on the chair, but she's holding it. Oh, she listened to this. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> She's so cute.
Mm, okay. Because that's, that's a smart cookie. Oblivious, isn't she? <laughs> oh, yeah. Probably for a whole freaking years. Pumpkin. She is a very passionate little creature. Right, we did see it there. I totally forgot. It's just a weird thing to say about Nobo, but I guess it works. Again, the framing of the light and just like the tops of their heads. I don't think you can really pull it off with live action. But it works beautifully for anime. And like, it just fits. Oh, bah, bah, bah. that was so good. Like that excitement in her going, bah, 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 passing to Missouri. <laughs> Little bird. Oh, look at Natsuki. Even she's like. <laughs> Oh, now that sounds like a really passionate. Oh, that does. <laughs> Thanks, that's the key. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even Kumiko's like, what is with the, what? What are these dynamics? What is? What are these relationships? As if she's not in one weird relationship herself. Yeah, probably. Asuka's a smart cookie. She sees so much. She sees everything. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, that I think was honesty. No, I think that's honest there. <sighs> this girl is crazy smart and crazy. <laughs> Oh, she's running around the whole school, that's why. <laughs> yeah, I kind of expected that answer. <laughs> oh, 
What you do? Jump on her like this? <laughs> what a freaking weird episode. Oh my. Oh. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. That was nice. This episode was emotional, y'all. I love this episode. The relationship dynamics. The. You know, it's funny because it just seems like it's it's so dramatic, but it's it's dramatic. To the, it's not like. I don't know. Like, I don't know how I'm putting the words. Like, it's dramatic in the way I want it to be dramatic, but not overly dramatic, you know? It, it, like, the drama was caused, and for some people, it was inside their own head. For some people, they were like, oh, this is what happens when no one communicates. But it's like, these interactions are so teenagery, which is why it's perfect. <laughs> Like, just the way they're they're talking and the way they're thinking. I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, I kind of thought like that as a teenager, you know? Um, in the some weird ways, I was a mixture of Missouri because I was so introverted. But I was also, you know, I was also uh, nosing me because I was a little oblivious. So I kind of am. Um, I don't think I'm as brilliant or observant as Asuka is. She is... We all, we all look up to Asuka. We all want to be her. She's amazing. But she's so observant. She sees all these relation dynamics. She's like, oh, underclassman, probably. And it's just to kind of she cut herself off. Because she sees Raina in the door. And it's like, oh, she's so smart. Okay. Raina, not Raina. Um, Asuka is so smart. And she sees so flippin' much with these freaking underclassmen. Who are just... It's irritating the snot out of her, probably. She's like, I just want to play my euphonia. Now, I think she was being very serious there when she goes, hey, let's make it the Nationals. Ugh. She's a hard person to read. But she is so crazy observant. I'm so impressed by her. Just kind of the way that she... What, how she sees things, the... The, the observations she makes, just everything. And she sees she sees things even before other people see them. So she's seeing kind of this intensity and this connection coming between Kumiko and Maya that the other upperclassmen kind of have as well. And uh, it's kind of funny. She goes like, yeah, I'm seeing it happen all over again. And now it's in the brass section. Good grief. No, I actually, I, technically it's, it's, you know, Still the brass with Yuko and not That dynamic of just like, are you being nice to me? Are you being nice to me? It's <laughs> the tease. It's so cute. Um, I really expect that to be dragged on longer. But I'm glad it wasn't. I don't know where she's playing, but it sounded really beautiful. So I guess she's playing maybe on the roof and then, you know, Nozomi is with her. So that's really sweet and really cute. Um, and... I I loved it, and then the other three like let, let them let those two have their moments, and um, you know, it was a uh, it was nice. It was it was sweet. It was it was really sweet. And poor Kumiko was kind of watching this, going, I don't know what to do with any of this. What is happening? <laughs> um, I loved it. I really liked it. I kind of am bummed that their second year was condensed into a movie. I would have loved to see like stretched on more so my brother really wants me to read the light novel um oh the bookworm one just because i love to read and i own more books than i will probably ever finish reading someday i will i gotta i gotta get my stuff read this is ridiculous i got so many books i'm just i'm just not reading um but i he it said it's of a bookworm so he wants me to to read that um that'd be fun to um do um, a reaction to eventually, but I think I'm gonna wait a little bit. I think it's only just been started being adapted and I kind of want to wait a little bit until maybe a little bit more is adapted before I start reacting to that Also because I already promised to react to other things first um, But I, he wants me to read light novels. I'm like I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get them read But I would love to read Hibiki Euphonium and Violet Evergarden. It is a, it is a, for me um, I, I enjoy the anime that Kyoani gets to do the animation Kyoani gets to do when it's a light novel because they get to have a style they get to create the look really um beautifully and that's why I'm excited for Kion because 
please correct me if I'm wrong, k was a manga. So there's already an established art style that k adapted. Um, again, correct me if I'm wrong. But I am excited to see a Kyo Annie work where they have to adapt this already pre-done style versus um oh, my hair is all coming out versus one that uh they get to make up their own but when they do get to shine on their own beautiful and i'm crazy excited for liz and the bluebird because i just i just see images and i'm like the art is so beautiful it's so watercolor it's very hayao miyazaki-esque it kind of reminds me of that just kind of the watercolor and the beauty of some of the shapes um, I was intrigued by the fact that they use a 3D modeling to go around the science bench to find Missouri. It was an interesting placement of it. It kind of stuck out quite a bit for me, but, um, I guess, you know, it made things easier because all they're literally doing is shifting around a corner, but, uh, that was great. That was beautiful. That was such a good episode. I nearly, I nearly actually cried. It was so good. Like, the dynamics, the interactions were so cute. I'm glad I didn't get dragged on any longer. <laughs> We're only four episodes in, which is nice. I'm like, okay, we've got this. We're, we're over this. We moved forward. It's whatever. We're over this now. So the next episode or next episode after that. And then the next two, I guess they're going to end. I'm going to assume they're going to end the halfway point of the season. With the Kansai competition. The next one. Um, which is the coming up one. I would love to see them make nationals. I'm... Going to assume that they aren't, if they do make nationals, they're definitely not going to win nationals. Only because that just seems too quick. Um, it makes sense that they would shoot, shoot, shoot for the moon and maybe, or shoot for Mars and they only get the moon or something like that. Um, whatever, it, whatever, it, however you want to word it. But um, I don't. As if for them to grow, as much as I really want them to make to, it to nationals and to maybe even win nationals or get in the top five in nationals because of how much I adore the third years, because of how much I adore Asuka, even though not making it won't change her trajectory. Um, I definitely um, don't think they would win if they made it to nationals. I just, maybe not even make it to the top five, only because that would be too easy and too sugary sweet and this show is a beautiful mix of fluff and just enough drama that it makes sense that they would not either make it or get close to the top five we'll see anything else to say no i love asuka she's so freaking smart she's so observant i adore her Raina wasn't allowed in this episode but that's okay because we got to hear more of missouri who she but then, when she's sharing her heart, that depth of her voice came out. Oh, that was so good. And you're just listening, and, and I just got so absorbed in it. I didn't even think about the voice acting that's occurring right now. I mean, it's so good. Anyway, I, I'm just, the voice acting, top notch. The character interactions, beautiful. Um, looks like we've gotten more and more of the drama from the previous school year dealt with. We get to move forward, we get to hear just and enjoy just the depths of Missouri's soul via music. Because um, again, we get to see just how deep this little bird feels. I'm going to keep following the little bluebird. Um, I just adore it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, share with your enemies. And I'll see you next time.